What's going on everybody? It's Rob with RKC, your property damage expert consultant. And today I wanted to talk about ITEL a little bit. And really, above talking about it, I wanted to actually show you one of these reports on my computer screen uh, and teach you guys how to correctly read it and analyze it. And so that being said, let's go over to the computer screen. And you can see this ITEL for one of my current clients. Now this ITEL is for siding. If you look up at the very top here, it's siding that we're evaluating. But really what I want to do is let's go back in time here a little bit because I feel like as time has gone on, ITEL has changed the way they lay out these reports to make it uh, a little bit more difficult to read and understand and so I want to go over that real quick I remember as a contractor years ago as soon as I opened up an ITEL report I only cared, cared about one thing and that was this indicator right here and back in the day you would get one of two things you either get a green check as you can see here and that generally meant that the product you're looking for is still available or you get a red X and that red X generally indicated that the product you're looking for is discontinued. And there was a transitional period where like under the original product identification number, if the product was discontinued, you'd see that red X. And then if there was a recommendation, you'd come down here and it would say, you know, the product's discontinued, but here's a possible match. That's how, you know, that's like the second part of, of how they did it now they have it laid out like this and here's what I don't like because I think they know when most people open it they're gonna see this green check whether it's an insurance adjuster whether it's a contractor and they're gonna think ah shucks you know that products still available so we're gonna to have to try to you know do a patch job maybe but make sure you're actually reading these reports so let's go through this section here original product identification because this sentence is critical guys the original product is discontinued, period. The bottom line is this product is discontinued. So what I would do at this point is I would send an email to the insurance adjuster and attach this ITEL report and say, here's the results of the report. Make sure you reiterate, reiterate the fact that the product is discontinued and ask the insurance adjuster how they would like to move forward. Um, based on this information, they may decide to do a full replacement or they may decide they want you to use this matching product. Also important in this example is if you look at this chart here, if you look at the very bottom, the current color, um, this lack of you know color in the boxes here indicates that the color isn't a very good match. So in the state of Ohio, reasonable appearance is required when attempting any repairs. And just by seeing this data, it's highly unlikely we're going to get a reasonable appearance. So something to consider. Also, this is siding we're talking about here. Um, building code requires that all material comes new in the box. So you're gonna have to get a whole box of siding out here to attempt this repair. And also when you attempt that repair, make sure you take a picture of the box on the job site because the insurance company may want proof that you actually use the product recommended by ITEL on the house in question. So it's important to not only take pictures of that repair, take pictures of the box, of the material that was used, and also I would get an invoice from your supplier of the product, when it was bought, where it was bought, and what was bought. All this evidence will help prove your point with the insurance company. So when you're, when you're, if, if, if you ever pull an ITEL report, it's very important when it comes in, read it read all of it and make sure you know what you're doing because like I said the bottom line here is this product has been discontinued the uh, the green check is a recommendation of a possible uh, product to attempt we know by looking at this color chart that uh, it's most likely not going to create a reasonable and uniform appearance it's probably not going to comply with local building codes and it's really just a waste of time so once again something to consider i hope you guys felt this was useful information please go to my youtube page rkc toledo and subscribe we put out these videos all the time i want to help you guys uh, also give me the thumbs up on this and uh hope to see you on the next video you guys have a good one